What is going on gang? D-Cycle back here with another motor vlog. Just got gas in the iron and I'm on my way home. Let's get this party started. One steep exit for a bike. Every time I get stopped here, man, it's a, it's no turn on red to go right here. And there's always some out of state idiot always turning right, not paying attention, and they just go. I'm just waiting for it to happen. But these two are in state, they probably know what's going on, so kudos. Come on, come on, come on. God damn, it's like we skipped spring and went right to summer. We had like one week of spring and it's like freaking 90 degrees today. The sun is beaming. Oh my. Man, I'm just sitting here sweating right now. Green! Yay! Free at last. So much better when you're moving, especially when you wear gear. It is so hot today. Alright, so I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you had a good weekend, good Mother's Day to all the mothers. A couple things I want to talk about today on Saturday. I haven't sold all of my shirts yet. I've only got two left. I actually just dropped off a couple that I sold, and I actually have one large one small left but since I saw I've sold the majority of them on Saturday I went down and donated all the money all the proceeds that was made thus far from the shirts to the gym so I went down to Edwardsville met with Jennifer who owns the We Rock Inspector gym and gave her the cash that we had raised so again thank you guys very much if you bought a shirt again I have two left I may go ahead and get an order placed this week. That way I have replenished on my sizes and I'll also have two X's. Because I know uh, I already got a couple mediums that are people are wanting and a couple two X's that are going to sell. So I'll be ordering a few more of those along with the ones I'm going to sell. But no, Jennifer was, she was really appreciative of the donation guys. So again, thank you very much. It was a really good cause to donate to. And as said in another video, this next batch is going to go to the Heidi Foundation. So if you guys want to support the Heidi Foundation, I wouldn't mind giving my channel a little bit of bump and support. The next batch will go to Heidi. Alright, so not much else is new. I saw we had a few more subscribers in the last week. We're over 80 plus now. Thank you for all for joining the channel, subscribing, checking out the content. I hope you all like it. Another thing I want to talk about too, I just had a friend I've known for about, I don't know, 12, 12 years or so. He just bought his first bike. Mark, if you're watching, congratulations. He bought a, I think it was a 2016 Victory Octane. And he's kind of in the same story as me. He, he's a dad, he's married, he's just ready to get out on two wheels now. And I know when, you, when you're spending a lot of time with your family and you got kids, you know, of course you got to give them all the attention in the world because they mean the most. But you kind of wonder, you're, you're asking yourself, where did all that time for me go? Because you got to have some time for yourself, moms and dads alike. Because, I mean, if, if you spend all your time working and watching kids and you don't get out, get a break from anything, you're going to go insane. You're going to go nuts. So every once in a while you got to get out. But I get it. I get why Mark, uh, Mark, why Mark was in the same boat as me, and kind of did what he did. So Mark, yeah, if you're watching, congratulations again. Hope we'll go on a ride soon. I know we're going on a ride next month. He uh, said he was going to be attending the ride in Carlinville for the uh, Unhinged MC for the Heidi Foundation, and that's June 23rd. So hopefully he can still make it down for that. We can go riding together. We get to ride with somebody new. And 
they've already started uh, getting kind of a group together for that ride next month. So I think uh, my aunt, my uncle might be going. My wife will be with me. My friend Mark, my buddy Roger, uh, my friend J.O. and his wife Jill. So we will have a nice little crew to go down there and support the Heidi Foundation and go out for a cool ride. I'm looking forward to it. And I don't know if this was influenced by me. A girl that I work with, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if it's because me and my buddy who ride our bikes to work and people are getting bike fever or whatever, but she says she's interested in getting a bike. And I thought, yeah, that's pretty cool, you know? And she's been asking me all sorts of questions about my bike and how I bought it and this and that. And I already pointed her in the right direction to go get her uh, endorsement through taking the safety course, the MSF safety course. And she's uh, getting all signed up for that with, I guess, her boyfriend and one other friend, and they're going to go do it as a group. So that's pretty cool. And like I said, I don't know if I got her into it or not, you know, by riding to work all the time. But if I influence somebody to ride, that's pretty damn cool in my book. But nothing else is really new, guys. Remember, I'm on Facebook now right here. Also, check me out on Instagram above. I thought this was pretty funny too. Online over the weekend, I read some sort of uh, feed on Facebook that smelling farts is good for your health. I guess it's good for uh, dementia or whatever. <laughs> so I kind of got a little idea. Maybe I should uh, start jarring some farts. <clears throat> Maybe try to help some people out. What do you think? I have no ill thoughts toward farmers, but this is this is kind of one of the things that I guess you could say is a negative about living in this area. I think it'd be pretty cool if farmers had like their own designated roads, but I understand they're doing what they got to do, and I respect that. But is he turning? If the field's ready for that corn, sir, we're gonna need it. Uh, so we're supposed to get some bad storms tonight in the next couple days, so I'm not going to be out and about on the bike. I'm going to be taking the old cager to school, so I'm well, not to school. I don't go to school. I've been in freaking school for 16 years. I go to work, son. Anyway, I guess they're supposed to get pretty severe. We'll just have to see. Hopefully not. We had actually a, a tornado come through this town about four years ago, four and a half years ago, and really did a lot of damage in our neighborhood including our house so every time there's severe weather I'm always watching it like a hawk I don't know if you guys have ever been in a situation where you had a tornado in your area but it is not fun and I remember too because the sirens went off it was just me and my wife at the time she was pregnant with our first son so she's freaking out when the sirens go off we head down to the basement, and this thing just sounded like two freaking Mack trucks coming at the house, or 10 or 12 Mack trucks. And it just devastated a lot of town. Like, a lot of people had to rebuild houses. I, I had, like, part of somebody's roof went into my roof. I was finding all colors of shingles all over my yard. I had bolts and nails sticking into my, uh, the siding in my house, like they were thrown, like, at a dartboard just can't believe it I think it was an f3 tornado it was pretty gnarly but yeah not fun I hope I don't have to go through that again yeah, so what do you think should I uh, jar my own farts to help out some people with some dementia <laughs> can you imagine that like somebody walks in on you you're in the bathroom and you're like squatting over a mason jar and you're just you know trying to trying to let one rip how would that look? <laughs> but that's for dementia. Yeah, so what do you think, guys? Would be a good name for some decycle fart in a jar. Oh my, I got a twist in mine. There she is. Oh, I'm gonna miss you the next three days, bruh. What should I say? Lady, oh, 
home sweet home anyway guys that's all I got for today I hope you guys enjoyed the video subscribe if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button down below leave me a comment get engaged in the channel let's start some conversations you guys take it sleazy I'll see you later